Okay, uh, just like we, we have said, so continuation. So for problem number three, uh, elasticity problems. Upon landing on the ground after a fall, the 25 centimeter long human bone was subjected to a compressive force of 100 kilonewtons at its ends. With the broken, its average cross-sectional area is 4 centimeters squared. And the ultimate compressive strength of the bone is 0.17 gigapascals. Uh, just to take a look, what upon landing, the bone was uh, subjected to forces. But Such happens. Yeah. Now, what is happening is that upon fall, the subject is the opposite forces. Na 100 kilonewtons at its end. No. Now, what uh, happens is, knowing the compressive strength of the motor. In this case, it's 0 0.7 gigapascals. Siya ba ay mag-break on it? So, since the problem is unsolved by us or no, kanating mga conditions, one of which is, since ang 0 0.7 gigapascal ay isang ay contracted pressure strike, isang uri ng stress. So, one of the conditions would have to be, magsusap tayo ng stress at kukumpara yun sa US ultimate compressive strike. So, if the stress no, nananasan ang bow ay equal to or greater than sa ultimate compressive strength na ang lugar broken we have the broken bow but if the amount of stress experience would have to be less than the ultimate compressive strength and pass than that hindi pa may break So, kailangan natin compute or masolve yung stress na naranasan ang bow. Ano na ba yung mga building? Binigay sa atin yung force na naranasan niya, 100 kilonewtons. Ang uh, cross-sectional area ng bow, cross-sectional area ng bow na 4 cm squared. Original length ng bow na 25 cm Ano ko kayo ba? Wala na Wala na So, para masol no, Para masin na masol ng stress eh, Siyempre, the formula for stress would have to be force over area Alam naman natin yung force ay hindi pa yun na 100 Kilonewtons. And for the area, it is 4 centimeters squared or 4 times 10 to the negative 4 meters squared. Okay. Pag nasa lang nalingan, conversion. Conversion. Bawa. Yung 4 cm squared to millimeter squared. Conversion yan would have to be 4 cm squared is equivalent to 4 cm squared multiplied with 1 meter squared would have to be 100 cm that needs to be squared. But, check natin. So, 4, 4 divided by 100. Is 4 times 7 9 4. Okay, good. So we can. 
have this cancel. So, kaya naging uh, 4 times 10 to the negative 4 meters squared. Yan. Now, going back, ang mabawa na ang stress? 100 or so. Bali mga labas, ang 100 kilmon per side, 100 times 10 to the 3 newtons over 4 times 10 to the negative 4 meters squared. Bali mga yan, 100 divided by 4 that would have to be 25. 10 to the third divided by 10 to the negative 4 would have to be 10 to the positive 7. 10 to the positive 7. Now, tama. The unit would have to be Newton per meter squared. And that translates to 25 times 10 to the 7 Pascals. Pascals. Now, ano ba yung UCS? Ang ating UCS ay, ultimate compressive strength ay 0 0.17 gigapascals. So, pag sinabi natin giga, billion. Billion. So, that would have to be to the 9. So, 0 0.17 times 10 to the 9 pascals. So this translates to 17 times 10 to the 7 Pascals. Ano? Para may kumpan natin dito. So balik na alin yung condition. Alin sa dalawa mo ito? Uh, is the stress equal to greater than or less than the ultimate compressive strength? So, what we have computed, the amount of stress experienced by the bone is 25 times 27 pascals. And that's way more than the ultimate compressive strength. So, talagin natin. Since the stress experienced by the bone is greater than the ultimate compressive strength, it follows then that bone is broken. Okay? So that's it for problem number three. Uh, this particular problem, nangyayari ito. Sabi nga, after a fall, yung mamaya, kung magtanong, hindi nag-bend, so nakaka-affect ko siya. Uh, and this is uh, something na dapat sineseryos din natin mag-ingat okay so for problem number 4 what do we have here okay problem number 4 a line on the road used in mountain climbing stretches 12 1.2 meters when supported a 75 kilogram climber the road is 40 meters long and has a diameter of 0 0.80 centimeters. Now we are tasked to solve it for the Young's modulus of nylon and the uh, Poisson's ratio of nylon. Pali, na imagine naman natin sa question eh. Pali, uh, ang nangyari, 1.2 meters corresponds to the amount of stretch or the change in length ng nylon road. Tapos yung mass ng climber 75 kilograms the original length of the road is 40 centimeters oops, 40 meters at ang kanyang diameter ay uh, original diameter ay 0.80 cm now we are tasked to solve for, so we are tasked to find for the Young's modulus and Poisson's ratio. Poisson's ratio of nylon. Okay. Now. What we are to do is we need to solve. 
So for the young modules, so for young modules, we will be capitalizing a formula F L O over change in length cross section of area. Okay. Now, para mo natin yung F, magamit natin yung mass transformer. Because that uh, is the one that acts on the row. Original length, then then tayo change in length. Since may diameter tayo, wala naman natin yung cross section of area. Now, uh, so, kuhin natin muna yung cross section of area. Kaya yung expression man lang. Isa ka natin yung substitute. Okay, so we do it. Alam, yeah, I need to release this. So we hope na you are learning uh, with these examples na binibigay natin. Na. So, magsin ko lang. Times eight sixty four times point point sixty four centimeters squared over four. So this would have to be sixty four thirty two sixteen sixty four thirty two sixteen zero point sixteen five centimeters. Yung, yung, yung yung's modulus ay stress 
over strain. To be more specific, tensile stress over tensile strain. So what do you like? Stress is force over area. This is strain. Ang strain naman ay change in length over original length. So pag inayos mo yan, may F L O over change in length times k. Yan yung modulus, yun yung formula. Okay, okay. So, substitute so, ng values. 4 sa rho pi, 7, 3, 5 point, 7, 3, 5 pounds, multiplied by the original length, 40. 40 meters, yung haba. Divided by the change in length, 1.2 meters. Mas ang cross-section ngayon din natin na ito yun. 0.16 pi centimeter squared. So, kailan nyo pa tayo kailangan i-convert. So, this would have to be uh, knowing that 1 centimeter squared is so equivalent to 1 times 10 to the negative 4 meters squared. So, pwede natin kung palitan na lang. 16 times 10 to the negative 4 meters squared. So, we can have this unit cancelled. Ang may iwan lang yun ito dapat to be Newton per meter squared, which, which will be equal to Pascal. So, computation leads us to, so your Young's modulus would have to be So, 3.75 times 14 uh, to be divided by 1.2 still divided by the by or 0 0.16 times 10 to the negative 4 and still to divide by your shift 5 so it's 48, 79, 79, 73, 72 4.88 to the negative to the positive 8 plus us. Check na 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 We have 735.75. That means to be multiplied by 40. Then after divided by 1.2. So it's still divided by your 0 0.16 exponent to the negative 4. More so, simply by by the shift 5 value. 
strain a little bit. Strain is change over original, so uh, delta D over original over change in length over original length. So, the man of us now change in diameter, original length, change in length times real diameter. So, this will be the formula. Now, ang umbali sa meron tayo, ang umbali sa meron tayo ay yung original diameter, yun ang tayo niya, check, ang um, change in length, check, ang um, original length, it's also check. Ang um, normal na natin, yung change in diameter. So, for us to be able to solve for the Poisson's ratio of nylon, this is the formula, but we're lacking one data. We have the original diameter of the real diameter. The original diameter is 0.8 centimeters. We have the original length. We have the change in length. Well, we don't have this. So how can we how are we going to solve for that? Ang isang mga naisipisin natin dyan ang genius na ang nangyari kasi dyan, yung before and after stretching. Kung ma-maximize natin, parang ganito yan. Parang before stretching, may natin ganito siya kahaka. After stretching, sabihin natin na ganito na siya. Excited lang natin. Now, so, Dito, meron siyang original diameter. Meron siya dito, final diameter. And alam natin na ang kanyang final diameter is less than the original diameter. Pero, we must understand na yung kanyang final length ay mas malaki sa kanyang original length. So, nagkaroon ng change in length, nagkaroon ng subsequent change in diameter also. Baliktad. Pero isang bagay yung dapat natin mahalala. Ano yan? Despite na nagkaroon ng pagbabago sa haba at diameter, one thing has not changed. At ano yun? Oh. One thing has not changed. At yun ay, yung volume ng material. Yung volume niya, on both occasions, still remains the same. So, kung sasabi natin na yung, yung volume before, ano, originally, ay equal sa volume niya after, ano, yung final. So, knowing na parang ang volume niya nung alam to be, Diba? Ang formula ng volume would be area times length. So, ang mangyari dyan ay volume original is equal to volume final. Ganyan. Now, may naman tayo ang final length Ang final length lang naman is, di ba? Ang final length ay original length plus the change in length. So, that would have to be 40 meters plus the change 1.2 meters. And that would have to be 41.2 meters. And yung final length ng row. Now, yan ang final area. Sige, kapit natin ito. Area is pi diameter original squared over 4 times original length equals to pi final diameter squared over 4 multiplied by the final length so we can have the pi over 4 removed tapos the uh, original diameter would have to be the original diameter 0.8 
zero point forty eight seventy five. This is a unitless quantity. Okay. So that's it for problem number four. So wala nang simple. Wala nang simple pero medyo maikot, mahabang konti ang solution. Paano ang mga talaga ng leads? Because for you to be able to suffer the quasans ratio, go in checklist, ito na wawala. Siyempre, para mga mga change in diameter, doon alam mo yung final diameter na yung original. Para malaman mo ang final diameter, that of the solvable siya hindi mo makukuha yung final diameter at saka yung change in diameter kung hindi mo ito may hisip you have to unlock this okay that's problem number 4 and sunod naman ng 5 problems 5, 6 thank you